on the, the course, you're going to definitely hear that. Uh, as Tulsa and Broken Arrow gear up for the start of that tournament, it does begin tomorrow. You might want to pay attention to where to park. Tune News Oklahoma's Amanda Slee is alive for us this morning with all those details. So Amanda, what do people need to do? Good morning, Justin, Corey. So people at Cedar Ridge uh, Country Club tell us that they're expecting about 10,000 people to come to this course and attend this event. If that's you, you won't be parking here where I'm at right now. Instead, you'll be parking at the designated public parking, which is at the Oral Roberts University uh, Maybe Center. And the good news about that is it's free. That And since it's in Tulsa, obviously there will be a shuttle that will take you to the Cedar Ridge Country Club with places starting tomorrow parking and shuttles will begin at 9 in the morning the venue gates will open at 9 30 and the last shuttle of the day will run at 8 at night the same shuttle schedule will be in effect for the rideshare pickup and drop off lot as well on 96th and garnett just five minutes down the street from the course and uh, keep in mind if you're driving the area garnett will be closed from 101st street to 106th street from 5 in the morning to 9 at night starting tomorrow and going through the event until Sunday. Now, there won't be any public parking around at the course or in the neighborhoods or surrounding areas nearby. Broken Arrow Police Department tells me that they will be patrolling the neighborhoods. And if anyone's found in violation of uh, parking there, you could receive a fine or maybe even be towed. So use those designated parking lots, which is at the Oral Roberts University Center. We'll have everything you need at KJRH.com later this morning. Amanda Slee, 2 News, Oklahoma.